Hey guys, for the next 24 hours, we're going to be exploring Nice in France, but our goal is to find this hidden luxury village nearby. So beautiful. This is very exclusive. It is supposedly so unique that as we weave through the streets of Ez, <laughs> we uncover a restaurant with a menu that'll make us feel like royals. But let's kick off this adventure right here in Nice, a colourful city right on the coast. Unbelievable. I was not expecting this. Nice is said to be one of the most beautiful seaside towns on the French Riviera. With just 24 hours here, this is our plan. We've got to visit the beaches that supposedly massage your feet. We'll try and find the old town and the famous lookout. How is this great? And then we have to find this medieval hidden village. We just saw a little hidey hole. And by the end of this episode, we'll be back in our boat. Oh, it's all happening here. John's putting out the sails. And sailing further along the coast. But first, we actually have to get to Nice. So while I'm getting ready and starting the day with a quick shower on board our boat that Janot Yachts has kindly lent us, let me tell you how we're going to get to Nice. Now the French Riviera has to be the most scenic and convenient coastlines in Europe. Over the next few weeks, John and I will be traveling south to west along the French Riviera. And we'll be hiking, we'll be using public transport, cars, and of course our boat. But the train will be our favorite mode of transport as it connects every town along the French Riviera's coastline. So let's quickly put on an outfit and get going. We've decided to leave our boat in the marina in Menton so we can just relax and enjoy the day knowing that it's safe. If you plan to stay in Menton too, for reference, it's just here and it's around a half an hour train ride to Nice. You probably noticed that on the way we'll be passing Monaco, which we explored in our last episode. And you may have also spotted Ez, which is that hidden little village I was telling you about earlier. We'll try and find that on the way back. But for now, let's just skip right into the good part. Our train has just arrived and John and I are about to split up. I'm off to the beach and he's off to find crepes. We're getting off at Nice Villa station which has stopped right in the heart of the city and we're here during the busiest time of the year which is between the months of June and September. It's summer so accommodation is in high demand and believe it or not the main marina is completely full which is another reason why we left our boat in Menton. What a beautiful city. It was busy. It is summer. The city is actually quite large. I didn't expect it to be this big. And under the city streets are these eerie tunnels that are known as the catacombs of Nice. So John and I have actually been to the ones in Paris and they looked like this. Six million human remains are down here. But the tunnels here in Nice were used as a refuge during World War II. You'd have no idea when walking through the main strip. That's where all the shops are, every shop you can imagine, all the big brands, you can shop till you drop. But it was less about clothing, the closer I got to the promenade and down towards the beach. Wow, there are a lot of people here who are naked. <laughs> I'm seeing a lot of bits everywhere. France. The beach itself is my first highlight that we're able to cross off the list. The airport approach is above, so yes, you can fly direct to Nice, but I'm pretty sure the most controversial part about the beaches in Nice are the stones rather than the sand under your feet. Now, I guess the pros are that for obvious reasons, you don't get sand everywhere, but the cons, it is exceptionally difficult to walk around without shoes on. Like, it is uncomfortable. I'd love to know what you guys think and what you prefer, so leave a comment below pebbles or sand. And while you do that, I'm going to give you a special viewpoint. See those boats out there? Let's have a look at what the coast looks like from on board our boat. Sirocco, 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 Mike, Mike, Papa, Hi, Christina. Oh my gosh. So that's nice just there, right? Yeah. And we just got the head sail out and we're only sailing along at like two knots, just taking in the sights. Yeah, enjoying the view. But we're going to come back on board a little later because there's still a few things that we have to tick off on land, like Nice's old town. That's where John is chowing down on his crepes and our friend Kel is going to meet us there. Seriously, unbelievable. I was not expecting this. Absolutely magical. Like this little square. And this little like cathedral over here. I feel like you could definitely spend at least four days here. So cute. While it's right in front of me, I'll quickly take you inside Nice Cathedral. It was the music that drew me in. There's an organ up here. Look at this. 
It's situated within one of Old Nice's popular squares. It's called Place Rossetti, where these cool tricycles whip around and washing hangs from the balconies above where locals live. So don't forget to just look up, soak it all in, the smells, and if you ask John and Kelly, the flavours too. Hello. What have you guys been indulging in? Crips. Where's the no more remnants? What did you get? Um, Bacon, milk cheese, tomatoes, cream, milk cheese. It was a lot. It was very heavy, but it was good. It was delicious. They're a French dish and they're kind of like a thin pancake. If you've been following us for a while, you'd know John loves pancakes. What are we going to do for your birthday? Eat pancakes, I think. Isn't that what we decided? <laughs> max butter, max maybe. Now I'm really excited to go find this hidden village that's perched high on the cliffs near Nice. We've heard so much about this place and supposedly it's not too far away. But before we leave, I really want to buy a couple of gifts here because I love picking out small local treasures wherever we go and I give them to our family and friends when we see them next. I purchased a couple of jams before I realized that we actually can't leave just yet because there's still one must-see spot here in Nice that's on our list. And that is The Lookout, which is right up on the hill. So we're gonna walk there. Oh my gosh, this is such a well-deserved treat on this hot, Sweaty day, there's so much cool out here. How's the spray? You feel the water droplets, the spray. It's a really little popular spot, really. It's just so damn noisy. So I'm gonna dub this next section. It has the most beautiful view of the city below and the beach. Oh, that was so much better. And now I'm here talking about how we're about to catch a bus to a place called Easy. Uh. It's actually pronounced Ez. And that isn't the only embarrassing thing to happen to me today. <laughs> Let's go find this village because time is ticking. Hard to believe that it's already almost 5 p.m. and the sun is shining and it literally feels like it could be one in the afternoon, like summer here. If we soar above Ez like an eagle, you can see just how high we're about to travel. We're going to be weaving and winding our way up the French Provence Alps to a height of around 1,400 feet. Up here, it feels somewhat secluded, but this is the perfect day trip. And from the peak, this is the view of the French Riviera. Uh, how's the view? On the road, I've been away for far too long. But now I'm on my way back home. We're catching a taxi to as far as they will take us. Buses run up here too. We actually tried to catch one, but we didn't have a ticket and the drivers don't sell them on board, so we were bumped off. So beautiful. Wow. This is very exclusive. In the back car park, what looked to be a famous person got into a chauffeured vehicle. Who is this boy? And then I realised as we walked up the stairs into the medieval town, home to only a couple dozen residents, that this area is something special. Somewhat of a hidden gem I'd never even heard of before. It was honestly, it was like we were walking into a scene from a fairy tale with a labyrinth of art galleries and boutique stores cut into the rock. This is a little like hole in a cave and it smells so strongly of lemon. We were kindly given a taste test. <laughs> This was a local mandarin liqueur. Oh my gosh. Just as we'd done a loop and were about to leave, I noticed this fancy restaurant. We were a little embarrassed because we weren't dressed for the occasion, but the attendant let us in. Wait until you see inside. I was looking to belong when I'd already known. Oh my gosh. It's not too bad. <sighs> Oh my gosh, this is absolutely beautiful. Good to work here. Yeah. Every day. Very lucky. So <laughs> lucky. Would you like a drink? For two persons? So we just saw a little hidey hole. And then on the other side is this absolutely spectacular view. And they've offered us a little spot to have a drink. So I think we're going to park up, soak up maybe one of the most affordable drinks on the menu. <laughs> and also soak up this view of the amazing French Riviera Mediterranean coastline that is peppered with boats. When we were seated, we were handed this menu, which were on fancy iPads. And when we saw the prices, we had to double take. We literally looked at each other. It was way too late to leave. And so we just surrendered. Signature cocktails, 26 euro each. Um, 
which is about $40 Australian. Um, and if you'd like, let's do the caviar section. Would you like 50 grams? Oh, 125. <laughs> this is unreal. What is that? Oh my gosh, it's so beautiful. Okay, I think we need to get one of those. Mm. Can we get one? <laughs> I immediately went to the cake counter and I sussed out what was on offer. You got lemon tarts. This one's gonna be apricot, passion fruits and coconuts. Here you got chocolate and hazelnuts. And this one's gonna be a peach and elderflower pavlova. Okay, what do you recommend? I like the chocolate one and I like the lemon one as well. We each ordered a cocktail. What's up? and the homemade hummus and a cheese board. And for dessert, we ordered the chocolate hazelnut cake. Kelly hadn't tried gold leaf before, and so she did the honors. Wait, does it actually, like, do you have like an issue? No. In, like the next morning? No, it just comes straight out. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. Wait, why are you guys laughing? Is it like actually, like, is this okay for me yeah, to do? Yeah, it's totally fine. It's on a peanut. <laughs> It doesn't taste like anything. <laughs> While we're here, we heard of this epic hike we could do down the mountain. So we asked the waiter if it was possible. Lucy, bye. The gentleman is just saying not to take the trail. Christina and I wanted to go so bad. So like, it's going to be so fun to go on the trail at night. The waiter's eyes when John was like, oh, should we go down the trail? No. <laughs> I, <knew. laughs> I kind of knew that he was going to say that. You're wearing clogs. It's a dirt track. It's nighttime. It's raining. We have no charge on our phones, and apparently there's pigs. If a hog charged at you, how much damage do you think it would do? Oh, it would be really bad. Do you think? Yeah, for sure. Hogs are like really dangerous. Like there's still part of me that wants to do it. Do you know what I mean? So surviving the night meant that our next chapter can unfold. Are getting ready to leave today. We have been here in Menton for a few days now and we have a little weather window as well. Filling up the water tanks here. Hell has gone out to provision. Our fridges are full again and we even snuck in a brief wait session here in the galley. Oh my gosh. That was I'll tell you where we're going to be going in just a sec. We're going to be hooking a right out of the marina at Menton and up towards Nice. But as we sail along its beautiful coast, we're going to backtrack to a nearby town that I think you're going to love. Besides, there's some strong winds forecast and there's one place right here on the coast that we've actually missed and we simply do not want to leave without experiencing it. It's all happening here. John's putting out the sails. There's little boats everywhere. Parasails. This is a lot. I have no idea what he said. Oh, it's so good. <laughs> that is very cool. Woo! <laughs> I'm overloaded. Simulation overload. Oh my god, they're hanging on for dear life. <laughs> and in the airport too. There's a restricted zone over there. Deal. Meanwhile, John, the airline pilot, is cool as a cucumber. In 10 seconds, name your favourite airport in the world that you've been to. Oh man, that's not easy. From a passenger's perspective, Singapore. The morning so switch to channel 10. So what's yeah. a pilot LAX? Really? Yeah, it's interesting. It's busy. It's like, yeah, it's intense. It's cool. But for both of us, it is such a unique feeling to sail along a city that we've just explored. From out here, I feel such an appreciation to see it from this new angle. Are you glad that we came in here? Yeah, this is a nice lazy sail down the coast. I've asked John if we can make our way closer to these because I really want to just hug the coastline. I mean, we're, we're right here. Why not make the most of it? But the thing is, is we're literally sailing right in between all these little kids in the dinghies and they're so cute. And then everything just calmed down. Sarah, good morning, Canada 11. For literally one second. This guy's doing his best to get in the shot, isn't he? I was just reading up a little bit of information about Nice, and it was actually founded by a colony of Greek sailors, and they named it after Nike, which is the goddess of victory, and that's where the name they think Nice actually originated from. We have another 200 kilometers or 100 miles of the French Riviera to explore. One of these ones. That's like the ultimate breakfast quiche. So subscribe to see Villefranche Chemer, a 
town so pretty we're backtracking and Khan and St. Tropez are coming right up. I've also updated our Google Pins maps with new locations for all our patrons. So click on the link in the comments section for access and YouTube thinks you might like to continue watching this episode that's on your screen.